I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing four simple and delicious slow cooker recipes. year we're all into slow cooker recipes the easier the better we just want something warm and cozy when we get home from work from practice from dance from gymnastics from whatever our lives are super busy right now so I'm here to help you out just a little bit I found four super easy and delicious slow cooker recipes that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. All it does is when you log on to YouTube, all my videos will be there waiting on you so you don't miss anything. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump on into these slow cooker recipes. So the first recipe we're gonna dive into is a creamy, cheesy potato soup. As always, I'll have all of these recipes either linked or typed out below, so look down in the description box for all of these recipes. So first of all, I'm just starting by chopping up some yellow or golden potatoes. These are my favorite to use, especially for soups, because you don't even have to peel them. The peeling is so soft, and these are just such a soft, buttery, rich potato. So I'm just chopping those up and adding them into my slow cooker. Next, I'm also gonna add some chopped onion right on top of those. Next, you're just gonna add in some minced garlic and some chicken broth. And the chicken broth is what these potatoes are gonna cook all day in. It's gonna give them so much more flavor than just regular water. So I'm gonna give everything a quick stir and you can either do this on high for about three hours. I did mine on low for six because I just didn't have to worry about them all day. But then once that time is up, I just like to give them another stir and chick a couple potatoes to make sure they're really the most tender that I want them. Once those potatoes are as tender as you would like, you're gonna come over to the stovetop and we're gonna make a roux that's gonna make this soup super creamy and so delicious. This is not hard. All you do is add a little butter to your saucepan, a couple tablespoons of flour, and you just whisk all of this up until there's no more clumps of flour left in your pot. Next to the pot, we're gonna add in some milk as we continue whisking. And you're just gonna let this cook a few minutes until the sauce starts to thicken up more into like a gravy consistency. Once your sauce has thickened up, you're just gonna bring that whole thing over to your slow cooker and dump that right on in. Also, we're gonna be adding in some cheese. I'm just using some sharp cheddar. We're gonna add in some black pepper and just stir all of this up. Also, I about forgot, we're gonna add some sour cream as well. I had some squeezed sour cream left over, so that's what I'm using. You're gonna stir this up and it's pretty much done at this point, but I let mine cook another 30 minutes to an hour and it's done. Now, here's a little optional thing for you. I like to take my immersion blender and just kind of blend it up a little bit. I don't want the whole thing pureed, but I like to have some of those potatoes pureed and then also have chunks of potato in there. It just helps add even more creaminess to this soup and it's just so good, but you do not have to do this at all. You can just add in your cheese, sour cream, and your roux and everything will be done. It comes out super creamy, super delicious. I love this. Feel free to top with more cheese, bacon bits, even croutons will be delicious in this soup. Next up is Million Dollar Pasta. So one thing I didn't show is browning one pound of ground beef, but I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. So in a separate bowl, we're just gonna add some softened cream cheese, some ricotta cheese, some sour cream, 
Also to that, we're gonna add some minced garlic and some dried parsley. And we're just gonna stir everything all up together. So moving over to your slow cooker, you're just gonna add half a jar of your favorite spaghetti sauce. Just spread that around on the bottom of your slow cooker. Then you're gonna add half a box, half of 16 ounces, so eight ounces, of your favorite pasta. I'm just using some penne. And then you'll put the remaining half a jar of pasta sauce right over top of that. Next, you're gonna add in about a half a jar of water just to make sure the pasta is nice and coated with water so that way it will cook as the process goes along. Next, you're gonna add in half of your ground beef mixture. So right in the middle, I like to go ahead and add in some spinach. You guys know I love to add in spinach and veggies where I can. So I just put a nice layer of that. Also, I like to add in some dry, sun-dried tomatoes. And I would have added mushrooms too, but my mushrooms were bad. So once I add that in, I'm gonna go ahead and add that whole bowl of our sour cream, cream cheese, and ricotta mixture. And I'm just gonna spread that all over top of the veggies, make sure everything is covered. So next up, we're just gonna add the remaining half of the box of pasta, and then we're gonna add another jar of pasta sauce. Just pour that right over top of your noodles. And again, I like to just add about a half a jar of water just to make sure everything is nice and moist. And then next, we're gonna end with the remaining ground beef. Just put that all on top, and you're gonna let this cook only about two or three hours. You wanna check and make sure that your pasta is done, but you don't want it to overcook. So after those two or three hours on low, you're gonna come in and you're just gonna stir everything up all nice and all together. And this is where you can make sure that your pasta is done, everything like that. You don't wanna let this go all day. This is not an all day recipe. It may be something you do while you're going to church or something like that, but you don't wanna cook it all day because if that pasta overcooks, it will just not be good. So at this point when it's pretty much done, I like to add in some shredded mozzarella cheese and just let that go another 15, 20 minutes until that cheese is melted. This really is a delicious recipe, a different take on pasta, kind of like spaghetti and lasagna mixed together. Also, I wanted to mention this recipe makes a ton, so perfect for gatherings this time of year. Okay, next up is Mongolian beef, which happens to be my favorite Chinese takeout dish. So what makes it even better is I can make it right at home. So I'm actually using some beef sirloin tips. I think it turned out perfect for this recipe. Since they cook for a long time, it gets them nice and tender, and I think that worked out really well. So to a bowl, I'm just gonna add in my steak along with some cornstarch, and I'm just gonna give that a stir until all of my steak is nice and coated. So coming over to the slow cooker, I'm gonna add in some toasted sesame seed oil, some minced garlic, and then I'm gonna add in some soy sauce or liquid aminos. Next time, I think I will half this. The recipe turned out a little salty, so take my advice and just add in half of the soy sauce. Also, I'm gonna add in some water and some brown sugar and some ground ginger, and I'm just gonna give this all a nice stir before we place our steak in the slow cooker. Once I got all my steak in the slow cooker, I'm just gonna give that a nice toss, make sure the sauce is fully covering the steak, and I cook this on low for about seven hours until tender. This recipe was so easy, and once my steak was tender, I just fixed up some basmati rice, 
added my Mongolian beef right on top of the rice and then chopped up some green onion and topped with that as well. So easy, so great to have Chinese takeout at home. You could also fix up some broccoli on the side. Just an easy and delicious recipe. And last but definitely not least, we're gonna do some chicken and dumplings. I have to say, this was probably my favorite recipe out of all of these. So to my slow cooker, I'm just adding in three good sized chicken breasts, along with some chopped onion, and then some pats of butter right on top of the onion. On top of that, we're gonna add some dried parsley. Next, we're gonna add some Lowry's seasoned salt or any seasoned salt that you prefer. Also, we're gonna add some poultry seasoning, some garlic powder, and some black pepper. Next, right on top, we're gonna add two cans of cream of chicken soup, as well as some chicken broth. Just gonna spread that all over top of the chicken, and you're gonna let this cook for about six and a half hours on low. Once your chicken is done cooking, you're just gonna shred that all up with two forks and just make sure your chicken is more of in bite-sized pieces. After your chicken is all shredded, you're gonna take two cans of biscuits. You wanna have 10 biscuits total and just quarter them into pieces like this. And you're gonna place those all on top of your mixture and kind of push them down into the broth and the soup. You're gonna let this cook for about an hour, hour and a half more on high. You want the biscuits to be a dumpling consistency. By no means will they be a regular biscuit, but they also should not be raw in the center. This is the most perfect comfort food recipe in my opinion. We all loved it. it for today's video. I hope that you got some ideas and I hope that you'll give some of these recipes a try. They were all so delicious. I know you guys are going to love them. I hope you're all doing amazing and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.